do you think Tupac and Biggie would have eventually talked it out or, or you know what I'm saying? And what do you think would have happened? I'm sure they're going to squash their beef, you know? After Tupac came back from New York, he kind of wanted to, you know, leave, especially with the One Nation project. He has started to uh, want to put a lot of that shit to bed. Like, all right, I'm over it. And so I think there could have been a pathway to reconciliation between them two because Pac was, you know. And I don't think Big ever really was on it like that at all anyway. And so Pac was, you know, kind of over it towards the end. This is my proof. No, I know that Biggie and Puffy are here tonight. Um, did you see them? Do you have anything to say to them at all? Nah, but if we even if we saw them, we not we are businessmen. We are not animals. It's not like we're gonna see them and rush them and jump on them. If they they see us and they want drama, we're gonna definitely bring it like only Dev Row could bring it. But we here as businessmen to enjoy and, 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 and support the and video, support music, the video awards. music awards for MTV because they support us. So if they want to come and use this business opportunity to get on some gangster, you know we do that better than anybody. Can you envision a day when, you know, y'all, if not get together and make an album, just peace, peacefully coexist? There's no dream of making an album with Biggie and Puffy or none of them. We're not sweating it like that. This is our we, family We peacefully here. coexist right now because right. we all cool. Everybody's here. Everybody's, they make, they sell records. We sell records. Well, I guess you could call that selling records what they do. We sell large amounts of records and they sell a few records and really there's no, there's no competition. People are really making too much out of it than it is. It's really just, if you want to talk, we're gonna make it specific as to what you can talk about and what you can't talk about. And the East Coast, West Coast thing is something that the journalists and people are making up just to get paid off it so it can drag out. So they're perpetuating it so it could be drama, which I still love MTV, but when it all go down, don't look at me and Biggie and be like, why is there a big East Coast, West Coast war when you're, you're shooting this to 30, 300 homes, 300 countries, telling them about an East Coast, West Coast war that they would never know exists. So that's where information becomes a problem. When and MTV if it did, news if gotta it, be, if gotta it be did the ones exist, you know. If it did exist, Pac, we wouldn't be here. So right, and if it exists, you know how we gonna be sitting in New York talking about it? We'll try to be better um, role models, and y'all try to stop putting that drama out there. You got, you got a lot of power, a lot of responsibility. We both do. We both need to exercise greater restraint.